What is up, ghouls? Today we are going to be learning how to work the silt stitch for block number four of our Stitch and Scream Crochet Along Blanket. As always, we're going to need a couple of materials to get started. A 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, number four medium worsted weight yarn, a tape measure, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. Start by attaching the yarn onto the hook. then chain 72 for the foundation. In the third chain from the hook, place one double crochet, one, two, three, insert your hook and one double crochet. In the next chain, place one single crochet. Repeat that all the way across until you get to the last two chains in the foundation chain.
once you've reached the last two chains, in this first one, we're going to place one double crochet. And in the last one, one half double crochet. For row number one, chain two and turn the project. We're going to skip the half double crochet and working into that second stitch, place one double crochet. In the following, place one single crochet. And then again, repeat that all the way across. One double crochet followed by a single crochet. If you lose track of where you are, the double crochet is on top of the previous double crochet and the single crochet on top of the previous single crochet.
To finish off the row, we're gonna place a half double crochet in the top of this turning chain. You can even turn it to the side if that makes it a little bit easier. Insert your hook, and it is gonna be a rather tight stitch. Yarn over, pull through all the loops to finish off the half double crochet. This is just needed in order to help keep a nice straight edge for the square. Each square for this blanket measures 23 by 23 inches. So go ahead and measure that after you've done row number one, just to make sure you have the right tension consistency. For row number two, repeat everything we did in row number one. So chain two, turn the project. Again, skipping the half double crochet and working right into that second stitch. One double crochet followed by a single crochet. For rows two through 66, repeat row number one in order to get the 23 by 23 inch square. Once you've reached row 66, go ahead and cut off that working yarn, grab your yarn needle, and weave in both of your ends. All right, goals, that's all there is to work up this silt stitch. I hope that you love it. And if you do, don't forget to like the video. Also, my brand new blog post is linked down below. Make sure you check that out and grab April's badge. That way you can add it onto your sticker chart for the Stitch and Scream Crochet Along Blanket Chart, as well as any refresher that you need for the ins and outs of this blanket. You can find it all in that area. But that is it for me today. So have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.